Are you looking for a great location to start a business in Europe? Bulgaria offers a unique combination of a low cost of living, friendly business environment, and strategic location in the heart of the continent. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to start a business in Bulgaria and make the most of the opportunities available. Starting a business in Bulgaria can be easier than you think, especially with the help of local resources and support. So why not consider starting your business in Bulgaria today? You'll find a welcoming community, great opportunities, and a wonderful quality of life. Dear friend, I am so excited to hear that you're considering starting a business abroad. It's a challenging and rewarding experience that can bring many opportunities for growth and success. As someone who has been through this journey before, I want to share my experiences and offer some advice that I hope will help you along the way. Starting a business abroad can be daunting, but it's important to remember that it's also an adventure. It's an opportunity to learn about new cultures, meet new people, and challenge yourself in ways you never thought possible. As an entrepreneur, you're already equipped with the skills and mindset to succeed in this new venture. One piece of advice I'd like to offer is to embrace the local culture and immerse yourself in it. It's important to understand the unique nuances of the market you're entering and how your product or service can fit into it. This requires an open mind, a willingness to learn, and the ability to adapt to new situations. Another important aspect to consider is building relationships with local partners and stakeholders. This can help you navigate the local market, overcome language barriers, and build trust with your customers. Networking is key, and it's important to put in the effort to build genuine relationships with those around you. My journey as an entrepreneur has been filled with ups and downs, but the one constant has been my passion for what I do. It's important to remember that starting a business is not just about making money. It's about creating something meaningful and impactful. When you're passionate about your work, it shines through and inspires others to join you on your journey. In summary, starting a business abroad can be an incredible opportunity for growth and success. Embrace the local culture, build relationships with local partners, and stay true to your passion. With hard work and determination, I have no doubt that you'll achieve great things. The act of initiating a business in a foreign nation brings about a set of distinctive challenges that are unique to the country, encompassing a range of issues including cultural differences, regulatory compliance, and other related factors. In today's economic scenario, it has become crucial for companies to establish a global footprint in the market, which entails launching their businesses in foreign countries. Such an expansion can be driven by various factors, like capitalizing on a strong local market or a skilled workforce, or streamlining import-export activities by establishing a physical presence in the target location. Regardless of the rationale behind this decision, there are several key considerations to bear in mind when opening a business in a foreign country. To provide practical guidance, we have compiled insights from employers who have gone through this process and distilled their experiences into some key takeaways. Hire local experts. Many emphasize the need for local representation when opening a business in a foreign country to guide you around the potential pitfalls and misunderstandings. More importantly, they'll help you ensure full compliance in every aspect of local business, be it financial in terms of reporting, taxes, etc., and legal in terms of labor and trade laws. Recruitment especially is a major consideration and a challenge. Darko at whatobecome.com attested to the importance of having a local team involved in the team-building process. We've overcome that challenge by handpicking the core team and establishing a strong collaboration with the team. The core members have later gotten the task of recruiting the locals. The key to success is that the local core team has ownership over the company's success, which boosts their enthusiasm. Expats can be a valuable cultural bridge. Polly explained how a local or someone who's familiar with the country can serve as a cultural consultant. In her case, she brought in an expat from the United States who had lived in Dubai for two decades, spoke fluent Arabic, and had an established business presence in the UAE. This helped us to make the most of our opportunities, understand the various cultural, bureaucratic, and logistical differences between Dubai and the U.S., and how they applied in practice on the ground, and to target our market much more effectively and profitably. Polly continues, we avoided a huge range of problems in this way. We ensured that our U.S. workers knew that smoking in public during Ramadan is forbidden, even if you're not a Muslim, that the weekend days are Thursday and Friday, 
not Saturday and Sunday, and just in time to stop one of our big bosses potentially being arrested. If you want to talk business with the owner of a women's beauty salon, you send a woman negotiator as such a business is a female-only space. Locals know logistics best. You've all agreed. For startups, the best strategy for recruiting is to find a local partner who understands the landscape, including wages, labor laws, and a typical office environment. They help us navigate everything from renting office space to contract norms for employees. David at Full Stack Labs admitted to the ease of business in the United States. For instance, you can simply go online to set up an LC and it's ready to go. And the differences in doing that in Colombia that required bringing in local support. We hired a big international law firm, which seemed to be the only choice to form an entity down there for us. In Colombia, it's very involved. You have to get an attorney. It takes a long time. They're a quasi-socialist country, and so the government has a lot of control over the free market, and they just have a lot of rules that you have to play by. We wanted to follow the letter of the law and make sure that we got off on the right foot and we didn't have any sort of regulatory issues. It goes beyond establishing a legal business, which took Full Stack Labs eight weeks. Employment compliance was also a major consideration for David. They have a lot of rules around how you could hire employees, and they have a lot of employment law that you have to comply with. So we had to hire consultants to build our employment contracts, and then make sure that we are in compliance with myriads of employment law and all types of filings and stuff. The best advice I would give in terms of getting started is to get a good attorney and find a good accounting firm and a good bookkeeping firm to make sure you're in compliance with all the tax laws. Before opening up shop in a new country, know that people work together differently. Local values matter and hire local experts. When faced with a need or a problem, people often come up with new and innovative solutions or ideas in order to meet the challenge. The introduction of technology in our work has allowed us to work on a global scale as organizations. And as companies expand globally, there is a further advancement in technology. As an example, Slack is a platform that enables remote employees to have faster and more efficient communication. Similarly, Google Hangouts and Microsoft's Zoom provide the ability for colleagues to have face-to-face -face interaction and to make presentations across different offices. The international presence of Workable has allowed for a flourishing international hiring strategy. David from Full Stack Labs acknowledges the effectiveness of Workable's recruitment solution by saying, One of the things that's really nice about Workable is we manage all of our Columbia job postings in the same way we do in the United States. So we go in and we create a new job. We publish it to Indeed and to LinkedIn. David goes on to explain that they receive many applicants from Columbia through LinkedIn and Indeed, and they put these applicants through the same candidate pipeline and hiring process as applicants from the United States. He further states that it was a pleasant surprise to find that Workable works effectively in Colombia when they expanded there. They have also used Workable's sourcing tool to find candidates in Colombia and contact them. And they have found that there is a surprisingly good database of candidates available in the Workable sourcing tool in Colombia. Establishing a company can be a challenging undertaking, especially if you plan to do it outside of your home country. Due to the current trend of the U.S. dollar appreciating against other currencies, a growing number of entrepreneurs are choosing to launch their businesses overseas. If you're considering starting a business in a foreign country, continue watching this video, as we'll provide you with the top 10 steps to initiate a business overseas. 1. Adapt your idea, perspective, and objectives to the local environment. For any enterprise, it's essential to integrate themselves into the community culture. Seek the aid of a coach or a local acquaintance who can help you comprehend the traditions and inclinations of the population in that area. 2. Learn the language. While it may appear to be common sense, mastering a foreign language can sometimes be just as daunting as launching a business. Nonetheless, even basic language proficiency is better than none at all. You can enhance your language abilities outside of formal classes by utilizing various applications or by socializing with people who speak the language. 3. Analyze the market both past and present perspective. All entrepreneurs understand the importance of analyzing the competition before entering a new market. However, don't stop there. Study five companies that failed in their attempts to penetrate that market. Without learning from the mistakes of others in the past, people are bound to repeat them. 4. Create a new network. 
Upon relocating to a foreign country, your existing network becomes less valuable, necessitating the establishment of a new local one. Take advantage of the fact that it's easier to connect with new people in a close-knit community where there are fewer expatriates. 5. Recognize the environment. Despite the argument made by certain professionals such as Darren Kaiser that initiating a business overseas could potentially be easier, less risky, and more profitable than establishing one in your home country, it's still better to prepare for potential issues rather than relying on everything going smoothly as planned. 6. Determine and calculate expectations. Begin your work by identifying similarities between the markets you currently serve in your home country or abroad. Select locations where you can provide your products or services without the need to make significant modifications to comply with local regulations or laws. 7. Establish a budget. Although there are numerous reasons why businesses may fail, one of the most common reasons is insufficient initial funding, which usually occurs due to overly optimistic revenue and profit projections made by the founders. Establishing a new company can be challenging even in ideal circumstances, let alone when operations are in a distant location and the market conditions are unpredictable. 8. Look for a local agent. When establishing a physical presence in a foreign country, having a local agent or an attorney or accountant with expertise in international business law can be extremely beneficial. You don't want your products to be seized or your business to be shut down due to miscommunication or communication errors with local government officials. 9. Learn about the international money transfer. Conduct some research on the available options for sending money overseas. It's not advisable to solely rely on your bank for transferring and receiving funds unless you require a specialized service. Most of the time, using banks results in high fees and lengthy wait times for the funds to be transferred and appear in your account. 10. Address logistics problems before opening your store. The infrastructure that exists in developed countries is not present in many other nations. In some cases, there may be laws, taxes, fees, and trade tariffs that hinder the unrestricted movement of goods, both domestically and internationally, even when there are no physical barriers to their movement. By adhering to these steps, it is possible to establish a store in a foreign country. So consider every option and establish the shop. If you're an entrepreneur, you may experience constraints in your home country. These constraints could be caused by cultural differences, a crowded market, or lack of interest in your product or concept. Therefore, by relocating to a distant place, you can have a distinctive chance to spread your leadership skills to a different community. The key to gaining an advantage in a foreign country is through your mindset. When you venture overseas, you encounter a distinct culture and lifestyle. This presents a chance to excel. Natives may not perceive things the same way as you do. They may not even be aware of a specific problem, making it hard to find a solution. However, as a foreigner, you may identify fresh approaches and concepts that can address problems that would otherwise remain unsolved. Starting a new adventure overseas initiates a fresh chapter in life, which broadens your perspective to unfamiliar markets and enables you to emerge as a front-runner in your preferred area of expertise. Assuming you possess a daring personality and are open to adhering to our recommendations, your likelihood of achieving success will increase. 1. Plan ahead and be ready if things don't go according to plan. The military adage of plans falling apart upon encountering the enemy also applies to the business realm. Despite having meticulously crafted plans well in advance, being in a foreign country may render them ineffective. It is crucial to anticipate and plan for the worst-case scenario. Unfortunately, many individuals overlook this aspect and consequently face significant challenges when things don't go according to plan. 2. Have patience. In our native country, we are familiar with the regulations, language, customs, and peculiarities. However, when traveling to foreign countries, we may lack knowledge of these aspects, including societal norms and language barriers. Additionally, we may be unaware of the bureaucratic processes and encounter frustrating situations. It is essential to exercise patience, particularly at the beginning of the journey, as it can go a long way in navigating unfamiliar terrain. 3. Be open-minded. Dynamic and innovative individuals often make up the entrepreneurial community, which is a positive attribute. 
Being receptive to learning new concepts typically results in a positive and proactive approach, particularly when conducting business in a foreign country. Being in a new environment provides ample opportunities to learn, and having an open mind can be a valuable tool. 4. Surround yourself with a great team. Build a reliable team of proficient local specialists who possess a better understanding of the local mindset than you. I learned this lesson long ago. In business, even if you have exceptional skills, working alone is unlikely to lead to success. To establish and progress your enterprise, it is essential to collaborate with like-minded individuals who can support you. Having a proficient local team is especially crucial when starting a business overseas since they possess superior knowledge of the country's culture and ideological inclinations. They can offer valuable insight into what works and what doesn't work. Hence, a local team can be an invaluable asset. 5. Respect the local mentality and culture, and be humble. Occasionally, we may assume that we possess more knowledge than the locals, and we have everything under control. This mindset is likely to result in failure because we cannot match the experience and insight of those who have resided in that area for their entire lives. We cannot instantaneously comprehend their mindset and cultural characteristics. Adopting a superior attitude would inevitably lead to failure. Rather than displaying overconfidence, it is crucial to remain humble. Allow the foreign country to educate you on what you need to learn, and it is crucial to learn the local language to the best of your ability. Doing so will provide you with numerous opportunities. 6. Be an ambassador for your own country. Although you may be residing in a foreign country, some aspects of your home country remain with you. Foster amicable relationships using any means possible between your country and the one in which you are establishing your business. In the long run, this will assist you in achieving success. 7. Believe in yourself and bring added value. Arguably, the most critical piece of advice is to have faith in your business. To achieve success, you must have confidence that your creation possesses worth and contributes to the community. Establishing a flourishing business, whether domestically or internationally, is typically about the value it offers. Additionally, it must generate profits, as an unprofitable enterprise is unsustainable. However, profitability does not emerge effortlessly. It requires astute business sense, some luck, and meticulous planning. These elements must align and function in harmony, similar to the wheels of a finely tuned machine. In summary, succeeding in building a sustainable business in a foreign nation starts with a meticulously crafted plan. If executed meticulously and sequentially, the chances of the business taking off and becoming a success increase. Your well-planned strategy, perseverance, belief, and personal effort can act as the seeds for a business to flourish. May your business abroad be a source of inspiration, innovation, and positive change. Keep moving forward, stay focused, and never lose sight of the amazing things you can achieve.